Hello everyone. Welcome you all to the next session on polynomials of class 10 mathematics. In our previous session, we discussed about the definition of polynomials, degree of a polynomial, zeros of a polynomial, values of p of x at x equal to some value, uh, and then uh, geometrical meaning of zeros of polynomials. So what are we going to learn here? Let's see. Yeah. In this session, we are going to solve the problems of exercise 2.1. Here we go. Here is a problem from exercise 2.1 and we have only one problem in this exercise. The question says, the graphs of y equal to p of x are given in the figure below for some polynomials p of x. Find the number of zeros of p of x in each case. So we have to find number of zeros of p of x in all the graphs. Let's get into the problem. Here are the graphs for us. Let's look at the first subdivision. The first subdivision is the graph of a straight line. The graph is a straight line here. And uh, we don't see any intersection of this graph on our x-axis. Now we know if a graph intersects the x-axis, at some point, those points are called as its zeros. As we don't have any intersections on this x-axis, on any side of the x-axis, we could conclude here that the number of zeros of this polynomial is none other than zero. So, this is how we are going to conclude number of zeros equal to zero. So, there are no zeros for this polynomial. Let's move on to the second subdivision. Are we able to find any intersection? Yeah. Here is our intersection. And uh, do we have any other intersections? No. So we see there is only one intersection of the polynomial on x-axis. Though you have an intersection on y-axis, we are not going to bother about it because that does not going to help us in finding the number of zeros. So look at the intersection. There is only one intersection of p of x on with x-axis. Hence, in this case, the number of zeros equal to 1. Let's move on to the third subdivision and try to mark the intersection of polynomial on x-axis. Here we see there are three intersections. So this means that the given polynomial has three zeros. So, number of zeros of this polynomial is equal to three. And I hope this you will know that this is a cubic polynomial. And the second one is a, it's not a linear polynomial just because the number of zeros is one. It is a cubic polynomial, but there is only one intersection with your x-axis. Let's move on to the next subdivision of the first problem. Here is a parabola, which is a U-shaped parabola. Let's see the intersection of this parabola with the x-axis. Yeah, we have two intersections of this parabola with the x-axis. So, number of zeros of this polynomial is 2. Let's move on to the next subdivision and mark out all the intersections of the polynomial p of x with x-axis. So 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yeah, there are 4 intersections which helps us to conclude number of zeros of the given polynomial is 4. Here is the last subdivision of the given problem and also of the given exercise. Um, let's try to find the intersection. I am easily able to find out this intersection, but I have a doubt whether this refers to one point or two points. So in this case, let me try to zoom it out and uh, find out how many intersections are here. Yeah, with the magnifier, I can find the intersection here. There is a first intersection which was already marked. Here is another intersection. There is only one intersection in this place. And uh, yeah, even here we have only one intersection. So this helps us to conclude 
this is only one intersection and this is the intersection point and this is also only one. So this helps us to conclude number of zeros of this given polynomial equal to 3. I hope you would have got a better idea in finding out the number of zeros when the graphs are given. Thank you all for cooperation. We will meet you in the next session in finding out the relationship between the zeros and coefficients of any polynomial. Thank you.